in the car business, just as in life, respect is given when it's earned. Consider the current Honda Civic, ostensibly designed as an appliance to provide an expensive and efficient transportation, it also delivers an engaging driving experience and holistic design that together transcend its humble mission statement. We respect that. The 2017 Mitsubishi Lancer Compact Sedan, however, is a more conflicted proposition. Updated for the 2016 model year with a revised front fascia, LED running lights, and an uptick in standard infotainment and connectivity options, the 2017 Lancer comes in four levels of trim, starting with the price-leading 2.0 S, front drive only with a standard 5-speed manual. A CVT automatic adds $1,000, and moving through the 2.4 SAWC and the 2.4 SAWC to the top tier 2.4 SAWC. Power rain specifics are pretty much called out in Mitsubishi's naming scheme, but we'll decipher anyway. All three of the latter trims employ a 2.4-liter four-cylinder engine and CVT coupled with Mitsu's AWC, all-wheel control, four-wheel drive system. For this test, Mitsubishi provided us with a top-air Lancer 2.4 cell AWC. One benefit of starting with such a vehicle is that it doesn't require much time messing with the order sheet. With a base MSRP of $22,930, our test car included automatic headlamps, heated front seats, a leather-wrapped shifter knob and steering wheel, leather seating surfaces, automatic climate control, a 6.1-inch touchscreen, Bluetooth connectivity, an auto-dimming rear-view mirror, rain-sensing wipers, and a proximity key. The sole option was the $1,500 Sun and Sound package, which adds a power glass sunroof and swaps out the stock 6-speaker stereo for a 710-watt, 9-speaker Rockford Fosgate premium audio system. Despite the glaring omission of a navigation system, that'll set you back an additional $1,800. The tested Lancer cell packed a respectable amount of content for its $24,430 price. Plastic not so fantastic. It's when you climb behind the wheel of the Lancer that demerits begin to accrue. The steering column tilts but does not telescope. The touchscreen icons and a smattering of physical controls are so tiny that using them requires diverting too much attention from the road. Also, the short bottom cushions and generic sculpting of the seats make them pale in comparison to the comfortable thrones in a Honda Civic or a Mazda 3. The tiny trunk lid opens to reveal a small space of only 12 cubic feet. Also, the premium audio system and its trunk-mounted subwoofer crowd cargo volume by 0.5 cubic foot, which is less than the 15 cubes found in the Civic Sedan or the 13 in the Toyota Corolla. The quality of the interior materials is also woefully below that of its competitors, as if Mitsubishi is sourcing its plastics from a couple of decades ago. The 2.4-liter inline-4 and CVT that motivated our test cars 3,237 pounds certainly had a tall task. Producing 168 horsepower at 6,000 revolutions per minute and 167 pounds to feet of torque at a reasonably lofty 4,100 revolutions per minute, it feels coarse and dated in comparison with, say, the 170 horsepower turbocharged 1.8 liter four cylinder that Volkswagen uses in its Golf and Jetta to put either 184 or 199 pounds to feet of torque on the table at as little as 1,500 revolutions per minute. Even the Chevrolet Cruze has gone the turbo route, its 153 horsepower 1.4 liter turbo for supplying 177 pounds to feet at 2,000 revolutions per minute. Mitsubishi's drivetrain more closely resembles that of the joyless Corolla, which tops the segment's sales charts despite its weak, naturally aspirated 1.8-liter engine with only 132 horsepower and 128 pounds to feet. Unfortunately for the Lancer, this CVT hasn't adopted the latest stepped functions that make similar transmissions in the Civic and the Corolla less objectionable than in earlier iterations. Instead, it prompts the Lancer's engine to swing for its 6,500 revolution per minute redline, where it drones on in an admiral tone. At the track, 
This Lancer cell got itself to 60 miles per hour in 8.0 seconds and covered the quarter mile in 16.2 at 88 miles per hour. Those numbers trail a Honda Civic by 1.1 in 0.9 seconds. A VW Jetta with a 1.8 turbo also outperforms the Lancer, needing only 7.3 seconds to reach 60 miles per hour and 15.5 to cover the quarter mile. A Toyota Corolla we tested turned in times of 9.5 seconds and 17.4, so the Lancer isn't the laggard of this group. On the other hand, we observed 30 miles per gallon in the Corolla but only 25 in the Lancer. Doubling down. One explanation for that discrepancy is the Lancer's ace in the hole, its all-wheel drive system. In addition to the obvious foul weather benefits, we had high hopes that the system would aid our Lancer in delivering some of the sporty driving dynamics and elevated grip levels that made Mitsu's AWD Lancer Evolution models of your such a who to drive. Leaving it in the automatic setting, drivers can toggle among two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive automatic, and four-wheel drive lock settings elicited no driveline binding or complaints from the 215 45 18 Dunlop SP Sport 5000 meters high performance all season tires, but we can't really say it introduced high opening levels of agility, either. We can see where the lock setting, along with a set of proper winter tires, would make this compact nearly unstoppable for those who want to get to the slopes while the snow is still flying. Unfortunately, the all-wheel drive setup did little to imbue the Lancer's aging chassis with competitive levels of grip. Registering 0.81 grams on our 300-foot skid pad, it trailed the Golf, 0.85 grams, Mazda 3, 0.84 grams, Civic, 0.83 grams, and Corolla, 0.82 grams. The steering also disappoints by being merely average. Dashing hopes that its hydraulically assisted setup might feel better than the electrically assisted systems that competitors and the front wheel drive Lancer use. Mitsubishi's past offerings generated tons of affection, but its current lineup pales in comparison. By producing interesting and capable options like the Montero, Eclipse, and 3000 GT, aka Dodge Self, not to mention multiple generations of the Lancer Evolution. It set expectations high. Mitsubishi once was the yin to Mazda's yang in the realm of driver-oriented Japanese cars. Now, however, there's no apparent effort to make the Lancer interesting anymore. If Mitsubishi hopes to regain our respect, it's going to have to give its people the resources and the trust to resume their best work.